We've told you a lot about the Koch brothers before. They're the conservative oil billionaires who financed the Tea Party and other radical Republican groups across the country. Now, a Think Progress investigation reveals these guys are also the ones who helped to invent speculation in the oil markets, which is, of course, now hurting you at the gas pump. In 1986, Koch traders introduced the first oil derivative to Wall Street. Thanks a lot, guys. We appreciate it. That, of course, jump-started jump the speculation mania that we see today. And honestly, I didn't even know that until now. So the Koch brothers started that, apparently. A few years later, the Koch brothers also organized a lobbying group to deregulate their profitable new toy. Then in 2000, they finally won passage of the notorious Enron loophole, vastly deregulating the oil speculation market, which then led to huge speculative oil price bubbles of 2008 and 2011. And you remember what happened those years. Gas prices went skyrocketing up. Why? They're making all the money off the speculation, and we're paying the price. And in 2009, Coke Industries bragged that it was one of the five biggest oil speculators in the entire world. Now, even Goldman Sachs has admitted that at least $27 in the price of crude oil is driven up by speculators, which translates to about 75 more cents per gallon at the gas pump. Now, one of the Koch brothers' front groups, Americans for Prosperity, has launched a campaign to somehow blame President Obama for high gas prices. Oh, that's rich. They're claiming energy regulation is the real problem, not the speculation driven by Koch traders on Wall Street. What a joke. At industry get-togethers, they brag about inventing oil speculation. These speculators cost you 75 cents per gallon. That goes straight from your pocket to their pocket. Then they add insult to injury by pretending that the thing that could stop them, which is regulation of that speculation, is what's causing the high gas prices in the first place. Just when you thought the Koch brothers couldn't get any more evil, they find a way of surprising you again. Congratulations.